Apprentice, the timing of this call is fortuitous. I was just about to contact you with news. The Padawan bade me meet with her, so I went to end this. But two of Kar's Jedi friends were waiting instead. Fascinating. It seems both Master and Padawan have been disturbed by your exploits. I have received a transmission from Noman Kar, calling me out, if you will, challenging me to face him to the death. Our enemy has become desperate. He must have lost his mind. Your efforts to disrupt his precious Padawan have unnerved him. He seeks to turn the tides. Car fails to understand I have outgrown our personal dispute. He expects me to jump at the chance of strangling him. He will be unprepared for you. Just tell me where to go. The duel is to happen on Hutter at the site of Noman Car's betrayal so long ago. A fitting place for this to end. Defeat him, but do not kill him. His torment will reach out to his Padawan. He will be the bait that brings her to you. You honor me. I can feel Jasa Wilson on the verge of breaking, and Carl's desperate actions confirm it. Subdue the Master, and the pupil will come to save him. I have foreseen it. You're never going to guess what I've been doing. No, no, don't try. I'll tell you. In between jumps, I've been checking hollow frequencies, and I found the old gang. They're on Nar Shaddaa. They weren't leaving messages for me in the old spots. I thought they got themselves caught, or dead, or something. That must have been very nice. Was that you trying to be polite? Old gang's been on the run since I've been gone. Apparently, our mysterious informant for the Korriban job was that scum-sucker Kata Bliss. Bliss sure got revenge for the job we pulled on him. Fake mission, fake cover story. I'm thrown in the slave pens, and he hits the gang hard. You're still alive, so the cycle of revenge can still complete. For once, I have to agree with your angry Sith thing. Once they escaped the mercenaries, taunt and what's left of the old gang, spent their last credits tracking Kata Bliss's movements. That Duro snake has managed to get his hands on the Star of Kala'un. It's a priceless piece of Twi'lek history. I want to get it back. Tell me where we're going, and I'm with you. You're fantastic! Kata Bliss is at the spaceport on Nar Shaddaa, trying to line up a buyer. I'll send a message that we're coming. Make us out to be interested buyers. Oh, and I'll tell the gang to get ready to receive the artifact. Bliss has some famous Kalish bodyguard they call the Virus working for him these days. But that's not gonna worry you, is it? My lord, my efforts to locate SIS agent Folleran have finally paid off. There is a small window of opportunity to confront him. I can handle the matter personally. Permission to intercept and bring him down. There's no time to waste. He must finally be stopped. I appreciate your decisiveness, my lord. The Empire will finally be served. I'll return shortly. My lord, I'm back from my mission. I'm pleased to report Agent Voleran's decade of espionage has been brought to an end. It is a great day for the Empire. It isn't every day you close the book on an old score. It is long overdue. Thank you for allowing me to pursue this, my lord. I value your constant professionalism and expertise, Quinn. Thank you, my lord. Is there anything you require at this time? Carry on, Captain. By all means, my lord. Your presence tells me that my fellows Olden and Xylix must have failed. Pity. Should have known Barris couldn't be trusted. As a man of my word, I'm here. Alone as agreed. Your master shows himself a coward, sending you in his stead. He sends me to do all his killing. You are young in the Force, a mere apprentice. I'm a full Jedi Master. It hardly seems fair for you. You are Barriss's pawn, an especially resourceful and powerful one, but still only that. I must put an end to you. 
Once you're out of the way, Jason will provide the proof I need to open the Jedi Council's eyes and expose Barriss's network of spies. Come, Carr. Let us embrace death and settle this once and for all. strong with you. I must dig deeper. Release your anger. It's the only way to defeat me. to no one. My womb is mortal, Sith. At least I die knowing you'll never find Jaysa. My lord, Darth Barra sent us in case you needed help. Clearly that's not the case. He said Nomen Kar should be kept alive. May we stabilize him? No. Barris be damned! I want to die. Then Jaysa will be safe. My master's orders will not be ignored. May the Force protect me. We'll save him, my lord, and then be out of your way in an adjacent chamber. Hurry, man! The Jedi's fading! What? I... I live? No. No! Barriss's plan cannot succeed! I will not be the bait that draws Jason to you. You have no choice. This is not fair. I dedicated my life to destroying Barris. Sacrificed everything. My lord, the Padawan approaches. Make room for our guest of honor. Seth, I have come. It seems I was expected. Your men outside let me pass. Release Master Carr. Your efforts to draw me out have been a success. Jason, no! I told you to stay put. How dare you defy me? Jason's destiny lies with me, old man. My sacrifice for nothing! Stupid child! For all your power, you have understood nothing. What have you done to him, Sith? Has this been inside him all along? No. It can't be. No one can hide such darkness. Somehow you've turned him mad! Look into your master's heart and see the truth. Master Carr taught me not to use my power as a crutch, only when it was clearly necessary. I've never brought it to bear on him, but... I... I sense... Pride, and envy, and hate, and vengeance? No! What Sith trick is this? I would have known if such darkness resided within him. It's thrilling to watch your whole world crumble. I'm not here for your amusement, Sith. You killed Master Yonlok, and my parents. 
and now you've twisted my master into some abomination. No doubt now that you've lured me to you, your plan is to kill him. I will not let that happen. Stop me. Lash out and strike me down. No, I... Is this more trickery? Do not taunt me, Sith. I will not be played with. Prove you are right. Destroy me. There is no other way. If not, you and your master die here. I've warned you. Wait! What have I done? Jason, no! Prepare to die, Sith! that the light side was stronger. That it was why I could see through the facade of those who were dark. But it's not true. I am no match for you. The dark side is clearly stronger. You haven't completed your training, Jason. When you are fully communed with the light side of the Force, no Sith will be your match. Yet you are a master of the light. Why couldn't you beat me? All my life I've put up with deceit and denial. I thought the Jedi would be different. You've shown me otherwise. You've exposed Master Carr for what he is. It's your power that reveals a person's true nature. The fear you inspire forces truth to the surface. I want that. I was sent here to kill you. Please, don't be foolish. I've just begun to taste the dark side. Let me and my special power serve you. Imagine having someone who can see through the deceptions of your rivals and enemies. You are pretty handy with a lightsaber. Fine. I'll take you on. Thank you. And I can only improve with you as my mentor. What do you wish of me? And what shall we do with Master Carr? Norman Carr is insignificant. We shall leave him to his misery. No. Jason, sway to the dark side. Sith, you have taken everything from me. My life has been for naught. Don't despair, Master Carr. You have existed to deliver me to my true calling. Ah, uh, no. Jason, must you twist the knife? This is a glorious day. Noman Carr broken, and the dark side strengthened by your fall, Jasa. I feel your satisfaction. It warms me. I am ready to learn your ways, my lord. And I look forward to aiding you any way I am able. No. No. This cannot be. My fate. Who are you to preside over me? You. You are. Nothing. I am. I am Noman Carr. Apprentice, my soldiers informed me that you subdued Master Carr, but I've heard no further update. What has transpired? Where is Noman Carr? I left him there, a beaten and empty shell. I see. I had hoped to get my hands on him, but I suppose my imagination will have to suffice. Through the Force, I did feel some of his pain. It was a spectacular sensation. I see you have a new passenger. J. Sir Wilson, I presume. This is my master, Darth Barris. Greetings, my lord. You've endured quite a lot, young one. But you seem to have come through it rather well. Would you agree? I am very pleased with the outcome. I sense her devotion to you, apprentice. However did you manage that? I learned from the best, Master. <laughs> Excellent. A perfect disciple. There's no denying you are a master of the dark arts now. Only the most accomplished among us 
are named as lords among Sith. You have more than earned the distinction. I hereby confer the title of Sith Lord upon you. You honor me. Through your exemplary service, you honor yourself. I award a considerable stipend to those who attain such a rank in my service. Enjoy it. Now celebrate as you see fit. Then return to me here on Dromund Kos. I have great plans for us. Wow. A lord. I'm impressed. Congratulations, my lord. You've both been a great help. Service is its own reward. Yeah. What he said. I already prepared Jace's quarters. I'll go ahead and show her to them. Nice of you to assume some initiative. I'm here to help. Come on, Jaysa. Let's get you set up. Whenever you need me, my lord. Whatever your order. I'll be ready. As it should be. So, my lord, now you have the girl. A victory, I dare say, even Barris failed to anticipate. You've become a Sith Lord, and your power base is growing. Where are your sights set now? For the time being, we follow orders, but soon we set our sights on the Master. If my talents can be of help, I hope you will utilize them. I leave you to enjoy this achievement. My lord, I'd appreciate it if you could speak with Vet. Ask her not to disturb me when I'm working. Exactly how is she disturbing you? She's not wired for military precision. And there's no filter on that Twi'lek mouth. When I was tracking down Agent Voleran, she must have overheard me refer to Moff Broisk. And now she persistently pesters me about him. She keeps slipping his name nonsensically into conversations just to annoy me. Says she won't stop until I tell her why I hate the man. Vet's relentless. Once she gloms onto something, she doesn't let go. Best if you just tell her the story. It's neither appropriate nor in the Empire's interest to discuss the matter with non-military personnel. Besides, knowing her... The details of Broisk's collapse at Druckenwell and his and my subsequent conflict would only give her more fodder. Leave it to me. She'll stop bothering you. I was hoping you'd say that, my lord. Thank you. What is on your mind, Apprentice? So much. I've only touched the dark side and already I feel as though the galaxy is unfurling before me. There's so much to take in. And I'll admit, I'm a little uncertain about what it means to be Sith. You must learn how things run around here, and how best to serve me. Tell me, what do you think your role as my apprentice is about? What do you suppose our relationship is? You are my master in all things. I do as you say, no matter what. My life belongs to you. Do not forget that. If I command it, you perform it. You will always be at the mercy of my whims. Your whims are my desires. All my life I've felt kept and confined. Always wanting to watch what I say, treating emotion as the enemy. The dark side is my freedom. I'm going to express everything. Be sure your impulses align with my needs, and you'll find that the filters and chains that have bound you will be removed. Consider me properly motivated, Master. Please. May I ask you something? What do you want to know? It's about the Twi'lek, Vat. Can she be trusted? She seems rather... soft. I have no issues with Vet, And neither should you. I'm sure you have it under control, then. I meant no disrespect. I see I have much to absorb. I'm humbled by your attention. Thank you. We can continue this discussion another time. Of course, my master. Ah, the latest lord in the Emperor's arsenal returns. You're just in time. I have need of you. My master on the Dark Council, Darth Vengeance, wants war. Not petty skirmishes that tiptoe around the Treaty of Coruscant, but open warfare. Vengeance has tasked me with finding a way to compel the rest of the Council to tear up the Treaty. The sooner we can stop pulling punches, the sooner the Republic will fall. 
The Republic is stronger than you think. Otherwise, the Emperor would never have negotiated peace. But I may have found an opportunity that will have the Council and the Emperor ready to act. Most think that our inability to find and defeat one man, General Karist is gone, kept us from outright victory and forced the negotiated peace. Tell me you found this man and that I get to kill him. General Gon operates from the shadows. A phantom single-handedly preventing the fringe systems from falling to us. After years without a hint of his whereabouts, I've learned that he's meeting on Nar Shaddaa with traitorous Imperial agents. You will go there, and you will kill him. What is this meeting about? He maintains the fringe systems by anticipating our moves. These traitors supply his information. Anyone meeting with General Gon is guilty of treason and must be eradicated. We will not appear weak on this. I will punish all who are aligned with him. Without Gon, the fringe systems will fall. Control of the outlying planets will be a great advantage. So, to Nar Shaddaa, and deliver Darth Vengeance's red carpet to war. Bulilak apa jam kanggang, am kanem nang, am panem nang memua inok. Raka kem yo am kam nem nu, nam gan bak unok kijak. What did you call me? No, not possible. Lapo ram angka, mam ni nikat, nag naya mam ni kanggam. Perhaps you mistake me for someone else. I am a master of the Force. Unok kepam, I hear. It's your show. How do we handle this? Katabliss, you have exploited my people, stolen our artifacts, and committed numerous crimes against Twi'leks the galaxy over. We're full up on ugly. Katabliss, you have exploited my people, stolen our artifacts, and committed numerous crimes against Twi'leks the galaxy over. Return the Star of Kala'an. Promise to reform, and we may show mercy. I'll grab the Star of Kala'an. We can meet the old gang here on Nashada. They'll make sure the star ends up in a museum. In Twi'lek hands. Well, look who the act dog dragged in. Taunt! Guys! And this must be the handsome Sith you've been seeing the galaxy with. Impressive. We have the Star of Kalaroon. That's what this is about, right? Yeah, let's do it. Reunions await. We trounced Katabliss and told him in no uncertain terms to find a new hobby. The Star of Kalaroon is in the case. Authentic and undamaged. Chiktahopa! Got that right. Most important single blow for Twi'lek pride. All you, Vet. You've done something great for your people here. Cha'amo into Otmangisa. Mitisa Tabarena? Here. It's every credit we could scrape together. Don't worry, we should be able to sweet talk the museum into getting us some of that back. Oh no, I know you guys. You won't even be eating. You have to buy equipment, bribe fees. We don't need your credits. Do we? They are your people. It's your choice. Then I say keep the credits. Have a big dinner for me. Get some new gear. Kunto Koroja. I. No. I found a place. 
I'm gonna stay put for a while, but I'll keep in touch. You've at least got time for a meal, right? Let us show Sith a good time? Nobody celebrates like Sith celebrate. Hignagumba! Stukasun kanji tavutaya. I missed you guys. I'll say hello whenever I can. Be well, love. I'll miss you. Watch your back out there, kid. General Gon, I'm happy to report that Jedi Knight Zarinder has landed safely on Hoth. I saw to it personally. You are a valuable asset to the Republic, Faust. Someday the rest of the Chiss will follow your lead. Not if they know what's good for them. Men, we've got trouble. Rally around the General! Protect our allies as well. I think I can guess who you are, Sith. For all of Darth Barriss's covert manipulations, you have banged around the galaxy rather loudly. Now Barriss has finally found me. I'll have to be more careful moving forward. No one can hide from me and my master. I was successful before, I'll be successful again. Sith, you are Darth Barriss's apprentice? We... we know of you. This, uh, this isn't what it seems. I wasn't born yesterday, traitor. Attack! Save our friends! them all. Please, mercy. I... we will rededicate ourselves to the Empire. You all have to die for your treason. <laughs> Are you responsible? Was it you who took out General Gon? It was, Lord Vengeon. The fringe systems are now ripe for the taking. Such an advantage will prod the rest of the Council out of passivity. They will see war is the only answer. You have delivered to me what I most crave. Pardon the interruption, my lords. Who is this, Barris? My mightiest apprentice, my lord, and the killer of General Gon. And clearly a dutiful minion who knows the meaning of respect. Rise, young one. You have served your master and your master's master well. It is my privilege, master. I am impressed with your choice of apprentice, Beris. It is time. I will send my destroyer to the fringe systems, and they will be mine before anyone is the wiser. The order is given, Barris. Enact Plan Zero. Benjamin out. Excellent. I have waited a long time for this order. Apprentice Plan Zero is the systematic elimination of the Republic's top military leaders. A preemptive strike that will leave the enemy headless. Who are these walking corpses? They are the Empire's most accomplished adversaries and not to be taken lightly. I have been tracking of the targets for years in anticipation of Plan Zero. There's no time to waste. Make ready your ship. I will contact you there. Apprentice, your targets are the Republic's six most important military leaders. There are two I must still locate. Admiral Monk, who commands the Republic fleet, and Jedi Knight Zarinder, who leads an elite squad of commandos. But the other targets, the four generals of the Republic's strategic command, are confirmed to be on the planet Terrace. You must speed there immediately. Tell me about this planet. Terrace was once controlled by the Empire. Years ago, while hunting a couple of dangerous Jedi, a Sith Lord devastated it from above. 
though the planet has been a useless husk ever since, the Republic seems to have renewed interest in it. I will give you the particulars of your mission when you arrive. Barris, out. Master, your indulgence, please? We haven't spoken for some time. Are you upset with me? It hasn't been intentional. Good to know. The nobles on Alderaan treated me like I wasn't there. First because I was just a servant, then because they knew I could see through their pomp and distortions. I wanted to expose it all. Bring their political nonsense to a halt. Who cares about the petty concerns of diplomats? When it's your entire world, you can get wrapped up in it. It became a compulsion to keep track of it all. Deep down, I hated my life, but I swallowed those feelings. You've come a long way already. Now, you can let your feelings go. Yes. I'm finally living. All thanks to you. You wanted to talk? Nothing crazy. Just thinking about what happened back on Nar Shaddaa with the old gang. When I saw a taunt flirting with you, I don't know, it, it was... weird. Always strange to see people you know in their personal lives. Yeah, maybe. Taunt always flirted with our guy friends. Never bothered me before. Maybe you were just in a weird mood. Huh. Let's just drop it then. Do something else with our time. You know, stand-in family is all well and good, but seeing the old gang again, it just made me miss my mom and sister. Which is sort of weird. My memories are so old. I remember having the memories more than I remember the actual events. Does that make any sense? Sometimes it helps to just talk about it. I guess someday I'll have to do something more than talk, I suppose. Right now I just think, what would Tiva be like today? The last time I saw my sister, she was 10, 12. Okay, enough of that. Moving along. My lord, I seek advice. As a military man, above all else, I value discipline, the chain of command, and uncompromising dedication to serving the Empire's interests. But there's a built-in dilemma. When my instincts tell me that a superior is jeopardizing the Empire, it makes my path less clear. That's the problem with the military. No matter what rank, no one should be above reproach. That has been a difficult lesson to learn. But it's tricky. The criteria to challenge a superior must never be softened. I stood by as Moff Broisk's random whims compromised countless missions. It is a mistake I refuse to repeat. Defying him ruined my career, but I should have done it sooner. No matter the consequences, you're seething with hatred for him. I can feel it. You like nothing better than to exact revenge. Revenge is a great motivator. Yet it often clouds judgment. I have no aspirations for personal glory, just glory for the Empire. And now for you. Your service to me should consume you. Every waking moment, my lord. I won't take up any more of your time. 